Welcome back to Let's Play The Knife of Dunwall, the DLC chapter for Dishonored. You know, I'd had my suspicions when I saw Dowd on the uh, you know, DLC selection screen. And I was pretty sure when I saw him on the difficulty selection screen. But I wasn't certain. Until I jumped in and it said, you know, you can't forget what you've done on that description of the meeting with the uh, outsider. Can't believe I'm playing as Dowd. Whoa! the fuck? Holy... I am so much better at jumping than Corvo is. Wait. As long as I'm not holding A, I just chill out in mid-air. Thing I reduced falling damage then, huh? Ow! My leg! My precious blood! Uh... Okay, fine. Kinda deserved that for fucking around like that. Let's not use a potion just yet. Actually, oh, of course it's Dowd's face. Uh, autosave! Come on, I thought it would be faster than that. Invest that point in here. Go on. Get off the property or we'll lock you up too. You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back There's in. A quick save. You have no right to take it. In the gut. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. I want to strangle that Go man. Go home, Mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping, all of you. I hope the plague gets you. Oh, and uh, I was thinking about it while I was going over the footage from the first episode. And I had a thought. It occurred to me that as epic a sword name as it was, Threadcutter wasn't a very good name for Corvo's sword, given that he never actually killed anyone. And, uh... Someone left a comment suggesting a replacement name for it. I didn't use it because I got it near the end of the game. I thought I might as well leave it. Oh. I didn't use it because I was right near the end of the game. But I'm not Corvo, and this isn't that sword. I know it was just called an Assassin's Blade in the uh, main game. But for the purposes of Dowd trying to find redemption for what he's done, I hereby dub this sword Mercy's Grace. And if you'll just give me a second. I'll tell you uh, whose suggestion that was. It was the esteemed Darthinianable. Thank you for the suggestion, Darthinianable. The name is, uh. being put to good use at last.
Boosh! Oh! This could be a bad choice. Hey, I'm up here now. What was that? Sup? Someone down over here. All right. That didn't happen. I'm using my magic powers to go back in time. Uh, man, that is an ugly fish. I do notice that the loading isn't back as good. In and, uh, I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. What? Oh yes, in the uh. Ooh. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, Mister. Orders are to confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die with me. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. Loading doesn't seem to be as good in the DLC here. Oh, I'm right next to this thing, but it's not going to go off because... Okay, get used to this. Fuck, man, why didn't Corvo have this power? There is a house here. I didn't even realize that. Oh! <clears throat> Fuck! It doesn't work yet. I can't see them! Well, you're not the only one who knows the Tivian Chokehold. Corvo, old buddy, old pal. Upgrade everything. Oh, God. right past that guy. Don't you get any ideas? I'm a big scary assassin. Grr. Oh! <clears throat> big scary assassin with your grad issues. Rat poison. We need to rid the sewer of the rat infestation. Make sure you set this crate of potted meat aside so we can lay it with ras lace it with rat poison. After it is poisoned, take it down to the dock so we can get into the sewers below. Captain Galloway. Now that is interesting. I have no way to possess things. That's a power only Corvo has. I like this idea that the... I'm going to save here in case these guys eat him. In fact, I'm going to make a hard save here. Just like with Resident, I noticed that just like with Resident Evil 4 and the Separate Ways campaign, this has uh, completely separate saves from the main game. And I take his gun, and I claim my gun. I can't remember if the original the main game said explosive uh, bolts or incendiary bolts. Uh. <clears throat> right now, all this is good for is locating these.
Perfect. This is the book for the main game about, uh... That guy who actually knew that animals were had feelings. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Every dollar I do counts. Towards the save, uh... Dowd's soul fund. Officers. I don't like that. Alright, if I can't possess anyone, how the fuck am I going to take care of my sparking friend down there? It does end after a while. Right, need to get used to that. Trying to remember. I don't remember where. I don't seem to have. Maybe I don't just don't have any bone charms yet. Which makes it vitally important that I get that one. Well, I could make a lot of noise. Attention. Under plague conditions, failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by oh. the Lord Regent. I learned an interesting fact about this game from a friend. Uh. That guy on the announcements? If you actually kill him... Then, uh... The person reading the announcements is... And he gets replaced with another person reading the announcements. Who is voiced by Carrie Fisher. Most famous for the role of Princess Leia. That's where this is. Good. I feel uneasy running around on the ground level.
It's really weird to me that I'm not Corvo. Like, almost as weird as the fact that I'm running around as Dowd is the simple fact that I'm not Corvo. Fleet Fighter. Having your weapons out doesn't slow you. <coughs> Me without the speed upgrade! Oh. Fucking... Thought he killed himself there. Yeah, someone mentioned that in a comment in the main game, that you actually move slightly faster like this, than like this. Oh, I guess, I, well, I won't now anymore, because I have that thing, but, you know. It does feel faster. I still found it you know, felt better to have my abilities at the ready in the main game, because, uh... Well, let's face it, I could react to situations. Oops, that was something else. I don't remember, uh, Dowd's bounty. But I bet it wasn't as high as Gorvo's, even. Meat, Death, Bones, and Song. That's a new one. Excerpt from a butcher's journal. Leona looks worried when I come home at night. She's looking for that spark. Our love. The life we had just two years ago. All our ambitions. But the more she pulls at me, the more I resent her. The more I bury all that. When her father was killed at the carriage station, I gave up my studies at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. So mismanaged were their finances, with so many debts in arrears, that her mother and younger brothers would have been ruined had I not. My work feeds us all and keeps the rent paid to that shriveled old leech Wainwright. I hate this work, but in the time of plague it takes all one's efforts to stay afloat of the desperation, the blood, and the rats. There are bribes that must be paid to the Lord Regent's City Watch and Barrister Arnold Timpsch's dead counters. Uh... Timpsch. Timpsch. Barrister Arnold Timpsch's dead counters. It's really hard to say. Uh, offend the wrong bureaucrat, and your home is seized, and you're off to the flooded district. So it falls to me. Every day I drive my screaming saw into the beasts, eyes wide open. I studied them for years at the academy and on my trips into the field. Now working at the slaughterhouse, the wrongness is like a wound in my head. The first months I worked in a numb state, and my predominant mood is anger. Now the wound is scabbing over, and on some days I feel a kind of power. My entire existence is meat. All there is in my mind is meat, death, bones, and song. The terrifying songs, they come to me in my sleep now. I look into the great eye as I take away life slowly. There's a kind of deep connection with the beast knowing I'll be coming back and again, again and again, removing pieces for hours, sometimes days. They sing for us, a funeral lament that causes me to tremble. Leona and I sh still share a bed. But the more she tries to make me feel something, the more I recede. The person I was is dead now. That was, quite possibly, the most depressing thing I've read in the entire game. And that's really saying something! Christ.
important thing is they're not out here. Oh. oh, oh. Man, without that boot upgrade, I feel so loud. Wow, it really does help you see in the dark. Oh, right! I should be up! Ah! Without magic, even. Okay, that's not what I was aiming at, but. Allows me to see that. As a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include metallurgy, whale collection and refinement, security services, and selected legal and clerical specializations. Consult the city barrister for clarification and enforcement. <laughs> Having a union is illegal. I wonder if that was illegal. If that's a. There's a man out on the river watching Jesus. the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. So that's obviously a woman's voice, but at the same time, it's the exact same model as all of the male assassins. Arg! My power is. Uh. They feel so gimped. This is a public warning. Corvo Atana, the assassin and one-time royal protector, has escaped from confinement and is at large within the city. Any sightings of this state criminal must be reported to the city watch at once. People are maniacs. I mean, I'm not a fan of the uh, business of whaling, but even they don't do it alive, I think. Uh, real world whaling, I mean. Nice and toasty in here. Should be a problem if it weren't like oh. 29 degrees here uh, Celsius. It's quite toasty in my room right now. Granny's recipe. A page torn from an old manuscript written in a scrawling hand. The port side eye of whale, newly dead. Blop it in the pot, grizzly and red. Weeper, weeper, weeps no more. Laid to rest on blood-etched floor. Do this for me, dearie. And I'll give you a birthday treat. Granny. Yeah, that was Granny Rags, all right. I don't know if I want to do that. That sounds terrible. They used to tell stories about Fuck. women in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. Due to abuse of this indulgence, any worker without a time card will be denied admission to the grounds and summarily terminated. <laughs> well, I did the one last time. And it still resulted in, uh... <sighs> Low chaos, didn't it? I mean, it was wrong, but it wasn't the end of the world. Ow! Damn it! Or is that one of the food? Okay. I'm gonna call it here.
I'm burning dog face. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Knife of Dunwall. The DLC chapter for Dishonored. And I work out just how to get into this damn slaughterhouse. Later.